Okay, Let's see if we can get uh, anything else new. Yeah, no new mascot. Project S11. Um, new game. Not familiar with what this might be. Alright, that works. Hmm. Interesting. Didn't really know Sunsoft did much for the Game Boy Color. What the hell could this be? And are you waiting for me? No, you're not waiting. I, but I can. It will auto-scroll, but I can scroll it faster by hitting buttons. Cool. So what kind of game could this possibly be? Are you looking at side-scroller? Top-down? Some kind of flying thing? It's Sunsoft, so it could be goddamned anything. And it's a shmup! Okay. Have to admit, um... Wasn't quite expecting... Wow. <laughs> sort of a bit of a zip booster there. It's kind of amusing. Not, uh... Maybe an enjoyable shooter, I wouldn't say. Not yet, anyway. It'll it it'll depend entirely on what kind of power ups we can get. We have limited bombs for screen clearing. Oh, so we have rotating weapon design there. Okay, so it's this. Ooh. Spread missiles. Okay, and this. Oh, cool. <laughs> Ooh, wow. <laughs> um, <laughs> so if you hold on, it just kind of gets weaker and weaker. But if you button mash, it's uh, really strong. This is interesting now. What's the L? Huh. Triple spread laser. Cool. And S saw a spread shot, which is really weak, actually. That's, um... Stick with the, uh... Come on. Actually, no, let's, um... Damn it. <laughs> F out of you. Let's try this. <laughs> I like this. Also kind of weak, but, um... Sort of made up for it by the fact that you have so much on screen. Now it's this. Bomb? Yeah, an extra bomb. And that's not cycling, so we don't get uh, multiple bomb types or anything. And again, I uh, always enjoy any sort of shmup wherein you don't have instant kill, or actually have, you know, a health bar. Okay, so... Looks like no matter what we get, our weapons are always increasing. Out. Okay, getting better. So, get another one of those. Oh, wow. Huh. Any more? Am I forgetting? Nope, so let's just keep increasing this. Or, you know, sure. I'm gonna have to uh, see all the things each and every uh, weapon level here. Just for the um, cool factor of that. At least there's not too many different options. And again, here we go. Okay, there's level four spreader, level four bombs, level four DNA. Oh, wait a minute. I'm already at the max. Kind of a disappointment. I thought we were to, you know, fill out that entire 
uh, row there. Okay, so we've already seen all the various uh, weapon levels. That is admittedly unexpected. They were kind of building it up there quite a bit, and I was expecting more levels. So, you know, oh well with that. And now I just say, um, oh. Never mind, I don't say that because, uh, auto fire in this uh, emulator is a thing which only works some of the time. I have no idea why. So I didn't even actually think to check my. No, I'm actually not losing um, weapon levels when I take damage. Again, that is surprising for this kind of shmup. Also a little bit disappointed that we didn't get some kind of mini-boss music for that guy. Hopefully we get some actual boss music when we get to, you know, the stage boss. Yeah, this is not one I'm going to be finishing. This is, uh... Kind of... A couple steps below generic for... Your average... Shooter. Power-ups are not interesting enough to really... Well, interesting or powerful enough, even at this, uh, max level here really warrant, you know, going through this entire game. And the fact that auto-fire is not working for this one, not really helping it. Centered me there, and I guess he sort of came up from the ocean or the lake or river or whatever that expanse of water was. So, holy crap with the uh, <laughs> bomb spread on this. This is a bit ridiculous. But again, Sunsoft isn't exactly known for, you know, simple and, you know, easy games. They are kind of known for their difficulty. See stuff like, you know, Blaster Master, Mr. Gimmick, Fester's Quest, those, um, Spy Hunter games. Jeez, man. <laughs> sort of, um, you know, took the difficulty knob and just sort of, uh, cranked it up to 11 here in this first boss of coasting around at, like, difficulty level 2, going through the actual stage, and then, uh, just sort of... Just sort of, uh, went through the roof there with the difficulty. Yeah, okay, I'll we'll go with that. And, yeah, this music is kind of, um, a cacophony, basically, so, yeah, I'm gonna say, uh, this has been Project S11. I was never aware of it before, and I think we can pretty much see why. This is, um, yeah, this is not really a stellar example of a shmup. I, I don't think this is even a stellar example of a Sunsoft shmup. There are definitely better uh, shooters out there, all varieties. I really honestly would not recommend this one. Okay, one last one for the evening. Let's see what we got. Volley fire. <laughs> Sounds like a shmup. Let's see what we have.
breakaway animation. Um, maybe not. Oh, maybe so. <laughs> okay. up with, um, actual choices. Interesting. And we, yep, yep, yep. Um, uh, this is different, I would admit. Okay, both A and B fired lasers, select does nothing, and start is just pause. So it feels like Space Invader if instead of a giant slew of aliens, you were facing off against yourself. Just another ship that could only move back and forth and go pew pew. Now this does uh, fit the title of Volley Fire. Try and get a perfect uh, flawless victory here. Okay. Oh, they have lives. So it's even more like, you know, you're facing yourself in Space Invader. Yeah, this really does seem like it was meant for two player and not one player. And yes, the Game Boy had a link cable, how else did you think it would play two players? That's why it says two players there on the menu there. Game Boy was a thing that had a link cable, like, from day one. <laughs> That's how you could play Tetris two-player. Although strangely not Super Mario Land. This is, uh, you know, all that there is to this game, and this is some kind of terrible thing. This is just boring as hell. Now, if we could, like, break down these asteroids, that would be at least something other than, uh, Music's at least okay. Pretty good, even. Although the, um, near-constant pew-pew from the opponent there is kind of, uh, not really helping. Question is, is that one extra life or one life? Yeah, 
It's one extra life. Fan freaking fantastic. Also, I apparently took some damage there at some point, but whatever. Don't care about the flawless victory anymore. Let's just, um, get this over with and see what the hell else this game has to offer, if anything. Like, even playing, you know, with two players, I don't think this would really be all that good or all that much fun. seem like he has, you know, improved since, you know, his first life. Seems to be firing a lot faster this time around. Not that it's helping him very much, but, uh, still. Okay, freaking finally. Wow. So we get different debris and the opponent doesn't change in the least and we don't get a health refill. Good freaking lord, this game is so many levels of fail. Oh. Now I have a power up. I guess S stands for invincibility. S for shield, I suppose. Yeah, we are so far beyond done here. This has been just terrible. Yeah, this has been Volley Fire, and um, I wouldn't recommend this game if it was the only game left on Earth. Twiddling your thumbs would be a better way to spend your time than playing this. So let's get one more for the evening and hope we end on a good note. What do you got? Rocks. Rocks. <laughs> Rocks. Oh, a Titus game. Well. Titus presents anyway, so apparently it's some kind of dice game. Presumably a puzzle game, then. Normal, easy mode. So, what am I doing? Okay. Cannot actually say anything for this music. That's a uh, some kind of horrendous mess. Okay, it's not line up three in a row. Am I supposed to add them up to some number? It's not four matching. Um, what the hell am I doing here, game? Are we playing dominoes or? <laughs> what goes on here? What in the hell? How in what in uh, it, it, it. What am I supposed to do? What is the goal of the game? I, I didn't see any options for tutorial, or instructions, explanations, what, I, what, no, 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 what, what, what is, I, why, what was special about, I, I, what in the hell, I don't get it, 
I for certain. One and two and one? It's not matching, like, things on the side. It's in order to remove dice, two end numbers must be the same, with that amount of other dice in between them. Okay, that actually makes sense now. I, I get it! Hooray! Now, oh, hey, and we got a full screen clear. That's awesome. It makes sense! Hurrah! Okay, so, we can actually do things now. Still not a game I'm going to be playing for particularly long, but, um, yeah. Oh, wow. So, yeah, we just have to... Uh, I sort of caught it at the point there where, you know, we had the one on the side of the one. I just didn't make the second connection that there was one die between them. I wonder if we get extra points if they're all ones like that. And yeah, this seems like a pretty okay puzzle game now that the uh, premise of it makes actual sense. Let's go for this here. It's like uh, getting a six would probably be the hardest thing here. You'd have to, uh, would not be able to do it side to side, you'd have to do it vertically, and, yeah, it would take up almost the entire thing up to down. So let's go for it, why not? And there are crystals, which break everything surrounding them, cool. But yeah, I'm going to go for a six, and then, uh, <laughs> not gonna play this anymore, cause... Yeah, this is just kind of... Wow. That took so long to accomplish. <laughs> yeah, and obviously... On normal here, we go up through the levels. Presumably the same happens on endless. Just that, you know, there's no ending... Durr. <laughs> but, um, yeah. It's okay for what it is. It's not exactly something I would call amazing, but it's not bad either. Yeah, this has been, um, rocks. I would not say that it rocked, but, um, it was okay. Now I wonder. Yes, even if you fill it in, it doesn't actually have to be the end piece that you put in last to make a connection, it can just be filling in the holes as well. Although given that you when you do them vertically, it would have to be the last end piece, because it wouldn't really make sense otherwise, given that uh, stuff falls if it's a vertical hole, but either way, I <laughs> know we're just rambling and it doesn't actually matter. Yeah, this is just okay, this is not really what something I would honestly recommend over, you know... Hmm. Now that's a good question. Do diagonals count? Hmm. Let's try a diagonal where, you know... We're not also filling in. Uh, evidently diagonals do not count. But oh well, yeah, so once and for all, this has been rocks. And no, I, I would not say that this rocked in any way. This was just kind of an average sort of puzzle. Not really great, not really bad. An okay thing to spend a little bit of time on, but um, I can fully understand why this did not get an actual US release. And yeah, we're uh, completely done here.